ไทยไฟลีสังเวียนเลือดของตัวจริงร่วมค้นหาเหล่านักสู้สายเลือดใหม่เพื่อชิงความเป็นเลิศด้วยมวยค่าเชือกยิ่งใหญ่ดุดันเร้าใจร่วมพิสูจน์ความมันณบิ๊กแอคทีฟไบเทคบุรีถ่ายทอดสดความมันทุกวันอาทิตย์ตั้งแต่เวลา18นาฬิกาจนถึง20นาฬิกาทางช่อง8 YouTube และ Facebook ไทยไฟออฟฟิเชียลไทยไฟลีก The Real Blood Arena Search the new blood fighters with c a r d cheer. Greatness, fruitless, and more exciting. Join us every Sunday at Beat Active by t e c h b r e e live from 6 to 8 p.m. on Channel 8 Thailand YouTube and Facebook Thai Fight Official. คู่ต่อไปนะฮะเป็นคู่ที่พบกันในพิกัดน้ำหนัก62กิโลกรัมนะครับเป็นนักมวยจากประเทศบราซิลคนนี้เนี่ยเขาสายบูครับเดินหน้าออกอาวุธไม่ยั้งนะครับขอเสียงปรบมือต้อนรับบอสเดียนขาโหดดาวิสันพายเซาดาวิสันภัยเซาบราซิเลียนขาโหดประเทศบราซิลไปเซาผมสายบู๊ครับผมไม่กลัวใครอยู่แล้วคุณเอาใครมาสู้ครับคนคนนี้มีความทรงจําบางอย่างเมื่อไฟที่ผ่านมาเฮ้ยนะครับเขาไม่เคยลืมนะครับดังนั้นในวันนี้เขาจะขอกลับมากู้ชื่อของยอดมวยสามพศปรบมือดังๆเป็นกําลังใจเลยนะครับราชันแห่งเมืองปากน้ําพันพยักพยับคําพันพันพยักพยับคำพันราชันแห่งเมืองปากน้ำประเทศไทยรบชื่อยังไม่ตายบันทึกไว้ก็เป็นตำนานอยู่แหวนเมืองวิเศษชัยชานสู้ฝ่าฟันตานกรุงศรีคุ้มร้องพลังชูต่อสู้ผู้ภัยรีเสียสละและยอมลีด้วยศักดิ์ีนักรบไทยนักสู้คนไทยผู้ยิ่งยงเกียรติศักดิ์ซึ่งดำรงชื่อยังคงไม่สูญหายคุ้มร้องปลาทู and two draws and like Adam just said last time out 
he was knocked out in about 30 seconds in Samui. Yeah, it was a beautiful counter strike that just shocked him, shocked the audience, shocked everyone. And I wonder really who's feeling more pressure right now. Oh, Pampaya for sure. No one was expecting Davison Paijao or Paixao, however you say, it, to do anything right now. Whereas Pampaya, with that KO in the back of his head, knows he has to make a statement here. Yeah, you, you almost get the feeling that Pan Payak doesn't just have to win, but that he has to win in a dominating in or an ex exciting fashion, or his time here at TIE Fight might be done. We'll see, anyway. Here we go, round one. As Davison packs out, pushes forward. Both fighters, 62 kilograms. And you can see again, the card check, rope hands are in play. Nice inside leg kick from Paxel. Pampaya, a former Rajdar Nern champion and a former Lumpini champion as well. He's done it all in the sport of Muay Thai at the right He's fought the soon. highest levels of competition. You wouldn't think that Thai fight would fluster him. Oh, amazing. Beautiful. Snappy. Low kick there from Pampaya. Yeah, a bit of a feint into a low kick. Wonderfully executed. For a skinny tall guy, he's got some rippling leg muscles. Does Pan Payak. Yeah, 60 kilograms, around 50 of that in his legs, perhaps. Yeah, I think so. He's got to be very wary of getting overconfident, considering his last experience here at TIE Fight. Good left high kick there from Pan Payak. So fast. Moving away from the hands. Well, they do say that thunder doesn't strike, lightning doesn't strike twice in the same spot, so it would be an unbelievable happenstance to see him get countered and knocked out again. It's like Tampa Bay out of left elbow there from Pompeyak as Davison Pajal moves forward. Cut off balance, Pompeyak almost did. Pompeyak looks strong in the clinch. This is where I know Pompey has to be. He likes to get on the ropes and he likes to counter fighters. Yep. In Thai fight though, I guess you're expected to be the aggressor. Whereas that's not really his style. At least finish. At least right. be a finisher, especially he's, when you got roped hands. He's a counter-attacking precision fighter. And I guess in Samui. Beautiful left kick there from Davison. Oh, sorry, for Kampayak and Davison was eight. He's moving forward. The best moment of the fight. Best moment of the Thai fight career of Pan Payak so far. A lot of nervous Thai faces around the big side. Yeah, I think a lot of people are on edge. Oh! Beautiful left Thai kick there! Unbelievable! He gets up and he does a dance, oh. he checks his face. Oh, he's very drunk There's right no now. No way, that Re looks like me on Kalsan Ref Road. Referee, please keep your eye on this. Ref, ref! Oh, no! I think he's got to call that. Oh, he's he's going to go down again. He is not awake yet. Pot pack is oh, going to finish up, it. But he's on one leg here. He's on ice skates. Flying knee from Pantpayak. He's still wobbling all over the place. Oh, saved by the bell. Donaldson does not know where he is. Survive. ไทยไฟลีสังเวียนเลือดของตัวจริงร่วมค้นหาเหล่านักสู้สายเลือดใหม่เพื่อชิงความเป็นเลิศด้วยมวยค่าเชือกยิ่งใหญ่ดุดันเร้าใจร่วมพิสูจน์ความมันณบีแอคทีฟไบเทคบุรีถ่ายทอดสดความมันทุกวันอาทิตย์ตั้งแต่เวลา18นาฬิกาจนถึง20นาฬิกาทางช่อง8 YouTube และ Facebook ไทยไฟล์ออฟฟิเชียลไทยไฟลี The Real Blood Arena. Search the new Blood Fighters with Card Cheer. Greatness, fruitless, and more exciting. Join us every Sunday at Beat Active by Tech Bree. Live from 6 to 8 p.m. on Channel 8 Thailand, YouTube, and Facebook Thai Fight Official. Thai Fight League, สนับสนุนโดย by. 
อีซูซูดีแม็กซ์เหนือลิมิตพิชิตโลกคอมแพคส์จะมาเข้ามาและทดสอบเขาในรอบแรกที่สุดเขาต้องทำให้ตัวเองมีการแข่งขันทีดีที่สุดในรอบแรกของเขาต้องทำให้ตัวเองมีการแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดในรอบแรกของเขาต้องทำให้ตัวเองมีการแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดในรอบแรกของเขาต้องทำให้ตัวเองมีการแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดในรอบแรก Not a lot of guys that can throw head kicks from inside the clinch. Pam p a y a t might want to think about switching levels right now because I'm sure that Davison's going to keep his hands as high as possible. Perhaps one kick to the body. I don't know. He's already eaten two legs to the face, two feet to the face already here in round two. So jumping in, he needs to keep that right hand high. Oh, oh another one. It's not the kind of strike that you usually see somebody landed like like several times, you know. See the blood flowing out of the face of Davison. It's landed onto the chest of Pompeo. Push kick there for the free time fighter of the year. Swings there. Pompeo going after the head. Right hand left from Pompeo. Davison again moves forward. Paxo doing a good job keeping the fight at close distance, getting inside the clinch, where he's relatively safe. Swinging left, hook there from Davison, but he doesn't really do any damage. Pompeo going in with those knees, point of the knee, driving in to that six pack of Davison Paisal from Brazil. Nice kick to the back there from Paxo. He's starting to read those kicks, Adam. Pompeo might have to think about doing something differently and then revert back to throwing that kick at a later time. Guys, going to the body. Well, we've gotten our answer at least as to if Paxo had recovered. After that, 100%. You see. Yeah, after that onslaught at the end of the first round, but he looks much better here in the second. I think he's doing a great in job. In fact, he looks as good as he's looked in this fight. We thought at first, it initially, it was a mistake not to call the fight, but well, he's proved the refs trust in him yeah, to be correct, thing, right? To let him fight on, because he's really shown us something here in the second. He's coming back again. I'm not throwing much. Nice combination again from Paxel. Oh, and a nice left from Paxel. Yeah, caught, that got the attention. Pop, 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 right into the mouth shield. Davison giving it everything he's got in the second round. I think he might have even licked it. I think he took that second round and definitely not the second. ไทยไฟลีสังเวียนเลือดของตัวจริงร่วมค้นหาเหล่านักสู้สายเลือดใหม่และชิงความเป็นเลิศด้วยมวยค่าเชือกยิ่งใหญ่ดุจันเร้าใจร่วมพิสูจน์ความมันณบิ๊กแอคทีฟไบเทคบุรีถ่ายทอดสดความมันทุกวันอาทิตย์ตั้งแต่เวลา18นาฬิกาจนถึง20นาฬิกาทางช่อง8 YouTube และ Facebook ไทยไฟออฟฟิเชียลไทยไฟลีดูเรียลบลอดอารีนาเซิร์ชเดอะนิวบลอดไฟเดอร์สวิดคอร์เชียร์เกรนิสฟรุตเลสและมอยส์ไซด์ดูจอยน์เอสเอเวอร์ซันเดย์แอดบีทแอคทีฟไบเทคบุรีไลฟ์ประสิทธิ์ถึง8ปีเอ็มออนช่องเว็บไทยแลนด์ยูทูบและเฟซบุ๊กไทยไฟออฟฟิเชียลไทยไฟลีกสนับสนุนโดย
รถขุดคูโบตา้ามืออาชีพเพื่องานก่อสร้างของตัวจริงร่วมค้นหาเหล่านักสู้สายเลือดใหม่ไปชิงความเป็นเลิศด้วยมวยค่าเชือก
ยิ่งใหญ่ดุดันเร้าใจร่วมพิสูจน์ความมันณบิ๊กแอคทีฟไปเทคบุรีถ่ายทอดสดความมันทุกวันอาทิตย์ตั้งแต่เวลา18นาฬิกาจนถึง20นาฬิกาทางช่อง8 YouTube และ Facebook ไทยไฟออฟฟิเชียลไทยไฟลีก The Real Blood Arena Search the New Blood Fighters with c r o s Cheer g r a i n e s s Fruitless and more exciting Join us every Sunday at Beat Active by t e c h b u r i Live from 6 to 8 p.m. on Channel 8 Thailand YouTube and Facebook Thai Fight Official Thai Fight League สนับสนุนโดย p u m k i n ครบทุกเรื่องเครื่องมือช่างคราวนี้ใครไม่เคยดูมวยหญิงคุณจะได้ดูครั้งนี้ครั้งแรกเลยครับเดี๋ยวบอกแบบนี้ก่อนที่คุณเป๊กพูดไปหัวเราะไปนี่ไม่ใช่ว่าเป็นเรื่องขำๆม,มันเป็นความตื่นเต้นที่เกิดขึ้นมันมีความสุขว่ามวยหญิงนะเออเขาเรียกว่าอะไรอ่ะหลายคนคิดว่าแน่นปอบบางอะไม่แพ้มวยชายอะดุดันมากจริงๆก็เลยให้เขาเห็นเต็ม2ตาแล้วกันว่าไทยไฟวันนี้จัดให้ที่สําคัญเป็นมวยหญิงแบบคาดเชือกด้วยเพราะว่าไทยไฟคือสังเวียนเลือดของตัวจริงฉะนั้นเดี๋ยวมาดูครับคู่นี้พบกันในพิกัดน้ำหนัก53กิโลกรัมครับและอัดฉีดด้วยมันยิ่งกว่าเดิมแน่นอนรางวัลอัดฉีด 15,000 บาทให้กับผู้ชนะนะโดยสนับสนุนจากบริษัทไทยลินเลเซอร์เมทัลจำกัดครับคนแรกนะยอดมวยหญิงจากบราซิลความสูงเธอมาพร้อมกับความโหดครับขอเสียงต้อนรับเสือร้ายแห่งอเมซอนยูลีอัลเวสอัลเวสเสือร้ายแห่งอเมซอนประเทศบราซิลเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี
and then she had a rematch and defeated her. Yeah, but so, that's it. and that basically got the attentions of Tai Fight, and they were like, "That girl has talent. We can use her." And what an amazing decision that was! Because Absolutely. before Vero was on the scene, we had Pet Jija, and Pet Jija again. She went to fight, I believe it was amateur boxing and professional boxing and too. Professional boxing as well. So. We needed someone to come in and fill the gap as the queen of, uh, of Muay Thai, of Thai fight. And Vero has been outstanding and she's got a massive fan club as well in Myanmar as well as Thailand now as well. All over Thailand, everywhere we go she always brings a, a huge fan base. I believe they did a poll not recently as well on, the, on Thai fight social media. I believe she came out as the biggest star Absolutely. of the promotion. That's right, that's right. And without a shadow of a doubt, I mean, Vero is not only the queen of left wing as she used to fight before, or maybe still does, but she is definitely now the queen of Moi Kachuk. She led the yes. way for all the ladies to fight Moi Kachuk. Indeed. Don't Declared forget. the WMO Female Fighter of the Year as well. So last year, an amazing year for Vero. Let's see if she can start off 2023 in the same fashion. Yuli Alves trying to derail the phenom. That is Vero Rujira Wong. He work, trains out of Tiger Muay Thai. And as is as compulsory, is custom. As is custom. custom. <laughs> Hello, Johnny Betts. Johnny Our friend. Betts, the octopus. Always need to give him a, sh a shout out, no matter. Or usually, if a, fi a, a fighter Tiger from Tiger Muay Thai, Thai comes, comes to compete, yeah. All right, here we go. Round one. And you can imagine how big it will be for Yuli Alves if she manages to beat. Vero, oh my them. goodness, stunning right hand there from Vero. She's going down to the body there and down up to the head of Yuli Alves. I'm not sure how much she can take of this. Yuli Alves isn't fighting and the referee did the right thing by giving her a count and I don't think she knows where she is right now. My goodness, I want abs like Yuli Alves. She took so much punishment and she's okay it seems. Yeah, she wants to continue, that's for sure. That's unbelievable. All right, here comes Vero again. Yuli trying to elbow her way out of danger. Into the clinch they go. The referee obviously is not going to let that one fly here on Thai Fight. Now for those at home that can't say you'd be Sanchez here at ringside with us and he is very impressed with Yuli Alves' abs being able to take all that punishment. <laughs> Good left hook there from Yuli Alves. Oh, a swinging right hand attempt there by Vero. Misses the mark. An attempt, I thought it connected, I thought it was a good shot there. Absolutely amazing, good knee there from Yuli Alves and Vero might be in a lot of trouble. Good left hand from Vero. Yeah, you were right, Yuli went to the body of uh, Vero. Looked like she was in trouble just for a second. Swin spinning back elbow attempt there by the Brazilian. Now I'm going to make an educated guess that y Yuli Alves is going to start attacking Vero's body. I mean, she saw Vero just freeze for a second. Left jab there by Vero. Yuli has a mouse under her left eye right now from all that punishment she took early on in the round. And here comes Vero once again, backing up Yuli into the corner. But a stunning left knee to get out of that situation by Yuli. Now, now I think I speak for Yuli Alves' corner, but I think she should keep her hands up because she's taking way too many shots up there. And it's showing. Well, the thing about that is if you hold your hands up that high, what we saw, Vero go down to the body. She can switch levels at will. Wow, what an amazing opening round! Thai Fight League, sáng viên เลือดของตัวจริงร่วมค้นหาเหล่านักสู้สายเลือดใหม่ไปชิงความเป็นเลิศด้วยมวยค่าเชือกยิ่งใหญ่ดุกันเร้าใจร่วมพิสูจน์ความมันณบิ๊กแอคทีฟไบเทคบุรีถ่ายทอดสดความใหม่ทุกวันอาทิตย์ตั้งแต่เวลา18นาฬิกาจนถึง20นาฬิกาทางช่อง8 YouTube และ Facebook ไทยไฟออฟฟิเชียลไทยไฟลีก The Real Blood Arena Search the New Blood Fighters with c a r d Cheer Greatness, Fruitless and More Exciting Join us every Sunday at Beat Active by Tech Marine Live from 6 to 8 p.m. on Channel 8 Thailand, YouTube, and Facebook Thai Fight Official. Thai Fight League, s u n a p s n d o y by Isuzu D Max, n e a Limit, p i c h i t Low.
just made Vero question things just for a split second. Let's see what happens in this second round. Yeah, she had, she had a lot of success with the, with, with the body attacks, um, Yuli. Maybe she wants to go back and start doing that again. Teeps to the body there by Vero. Left hook connects to Yuli. Both these girls with really nice footwork. A lot of Vaseline on uh, Yuli's face, and probably for good reason. We know up at Tiger Muay Thai, or should I say down at Tiger Muay Thai, they have some fantastic boxing coaches. And you can tell by the way, you know, Vero fights, but let's not forget that Vero has also fought amateur boxing before. Oh, there you go. And there's the, uh, the QR code, boys and girls, if you want to scan that. You join the Thai Fight Club, supporters group, and potentially win a flight to Rome to watch Thai Fight in Italy. Heavy hands coming in once again from Vero. Vero determined to oh, keep on moving forward. And there's one. that knee. Fantastic. I mean, she needs to start going and back again, to that. And again, there's that left knee. Teeth to the body. I think Yuli has found a weakness in Vero that nobody else has been able to find. The body attacks, you know, she's reacted really badly to it. I mean, maybe two times already in this bout. Super impressed with Yuli Alves in this second round so far. There's that knee again. But Vero again, just biting down on that gun shield and swinging lefts and rights to the body and to the head. And blood coming out of Yuli Alves' nose right now. She needs to not do the same mistake as that Ali Reza in the, in the previous bout. You can see that Vero is looking for that overhand right. Just want to see Yuli start going back to the body again. It, it's worked so well for her, but I think that's exactly what she's doing. But she's waiting for Vero to attack first. She needs to be the one attacking first. Yeah, deep breaths there by Yuli Alves. Perhaps fatigue starting to, starting to set in now. And who can blame her for that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you saw earlier. Oh, just nice now. left hand there to end round number two. Thai Fight League, sang viên lướt của tuổi trẻ, cùng khuôn hả lão nắc sưu sải lướt mày, và chinh quan bên lướt, đuổi môi kha chưa. Ting dài, đủ dần, đau dài. ร่วมพิสูจน์ความมันณบิ๊กแอคทีฟไบเทคบุรีถ่ายทอดสดความมันทุกวันอาทิตย์ตั้งแต่เวลา 18:00 YouTube และ Facebook Thai Fight Official Thai Fight League The Real Blood Arena Search the new blood fighters with card cheer Greatness fruitless and more exciting Join us every Sunday at Beat Active by Tech Marie. Live from 6 to 8 p.m. on Channel 8 Thailand, YouTube and Facebook Thai Fight Official. Thai Fight League Sanap Sanun Doi. Eon Auto Quick Cash. Tong Kan Nguyen Sot. Tabian Rot Chui Dai. This was going to be a war and she was going to have to put in one of the best performances of her career so far and right now she has been incredible. I mean if you're a female fighter at 53 kilos you have seen Vero before that's without a shadow of a doubt you know how strong Vero is and you just have to try and match that toughness and that's exactly what Yuli Alves is doing here tonight. And Vero starting off using that left hand that jab then trying to set up the right hand Yuli. Nice right hand there from Yuli. Yuli Alves having a lot of success with that right hand and she's going to keep on going back to it and why not? That knee once again going down the center. Little attempted left hand there from Yuli to the body. Trading left and right hands there. Relatively even in the opening stages of this third and final round. I think Yuli has basically said, I'm not, I don't want to be dominated. I don't want to see what happened in the first round. 
That's right, Yuli's confidence never dropped from the first round to the second round, and now in the third round, she is more confident than ever. Good right hand left hand there from Vero. Tempting swinging kick, but a nice counter strike by Yuli going low. Yuli having a lot of success with the teeps, and she keeps going back to it, and why not? I mean, you don't really see Vero blocking the teeps, you see her stepping back instead. Oh, solid right hand there from Vero, but again, Yuli just eats it up. Low kick by Vero, and then a left hand. You know, we've seen Angela Chang give Vero quite a hard time, yes. of course, because she's a good clincher, but Yuli Alves needs to be considered right up there I agree. with her as well. It's been absolutely phenomenal to watch her, and she's taking the fight to Vero right now with some elbows. Again, good elbow there by Yuli Alves. Another swinging right hand from Vero. Good knees there coming in from Yuli. I don't understand why the referee stepped in with that. Did she say it was too low? Perhaps so. Some blood up the thigh of Yuli. I'm pretty sure that's just streaming from her nose. End of the third final round. And, oh. and that team came after the bell just to end from her nose. What a third round there for Yuli Alves. You know, she's gonna be hope she's gonna be wishing that she fought just ไฟไฟลี่สังเวียนเลือดของตัวจริงร่วมค้นหาเหล่านักสู้สายเลือดใหม่ไปชิงความเป็นเลิศด้วยมวยค่าเชือกยิ่งใหญ่ดุกดัน
176 centimeters tall, 73 kg. 58 times fighting, 40 times winning, 13 times losing, and 5 times drawing. I don't think I would be smiling if I was winning to win a title. But he seems to be very happy to be here. Well, Sayok hasn't had the greatest luck lately, so maybe Nick Price has seen that as well and plans to capitalize on it. Beautiful elbows there, shown by the ring I, I was getting scared. <laughs> Look just like Sayo. I agree. Now, Sayok, Pump Papa One, Windy Sport, was a third man three to four years ago. Maybe, maybe even two years ago. But his last few fights, I think, possibly out of the last five fights, he's lost four of them. He lost in China recently and got knocked down, which is very unusual for Sayok. He's 33 years of age right now. Don't get me wrong, with card check, Wrap hands like we're going to see tonight. Anything's possible, and he still retains his power. It's one of the things that goes. But when it comes to maybe speed, maybe fight right cue, maybe that's just starting to go just a little bit. I hope he proves me wrong, and he's got a chance to now. He's had an incredible career, approaching 300 fights as well. He was a Lumpini Stadium champion, as well as a Rajdam Nair champion, as well as a WMC champion, as well as a champion of Fight Thailand. Of the evening, Thailand versus Australia for the fourth time tonight. It's all been all Thailand. Every time we get to that last fight of the evening, I just hear boys to men in my head. It's so hard to say goodbye. I think I prefer the cheesecake analogy. <laughs> Really hope there's some boys to men fans out there. Ooh. Stinging left high kick there from Sayok. Left hand there from Sayok. Super aggressive start from Sayok. Price looks in tremendous shape. Yeah, he wins. He wins that battle. But the victory is all that matters at the end of the day. Sayok looking for that right hook. Giving away three centimeters. Giving away three centimeters in a six pack. Swinging left, fast low kick there from Sayok. The left hand and left elbow. You really got to look for There's, There's that, that left there elbow. Go, right? Thanks, Sayok. Perfect timing, Adam. Left and right's coming in there from Sayok. I'd say the timing for Sayok was a bit better than mine. Landed that elbow cleanly. Gonna give Nick Price's beard a trim. Remove one of those sideburns. Nicely blocked that time. Well timed from Nick. As you mentioned, Sayok still got that power, that ability to finish fighters, no question about it. Concern more of Oh! Late. Lead right uppercut there from Sayok! Almost lifted Nick Price right off the ground. Rolling back the ears with that one. The tiger uppercut. Jumping left knee there from Sayok, landed a bit funny. Yeah, the question lately with Sayok has more been, can he do this, what he's doing now for three rounds? Looking for that right uppercut again. Oh, slip there from Nick. He's able to finish Nick in the first round. He won't have to do it for three rounds. Last fight of the night, so the canvas will be a bit greasy from all the previous fights. All the blood, sweat, and Vaseline. Side looking for that left hand again. Nice kick to the body there from Price. Oh, the oh he got hurt. And a, right, a left body shot as well. This could be it for Nick. 
was already hurt. But that left to the body put him down. His conditioning, getting him through this first round. Nice kick to the body there again for Price. Looking for a spinning back. Elbow or a fist. Yeah, gets he caught got, though. He got punished for it. It's a high risk maneuver. If you miss, we've seen that a lot tonight. If you miss that spinning back fist, you're going to get caught. Nick makes it. ไทยไฟลีสังเวียนเลือดของตัวจริงร่วมค้นหาเหล่านักสู้สายเลือดใหม่ประชิงความเป็นเลิศด้วยบวยค่าเชือกยิ่งใหญ่ดุดันเร้าใจร่วมพิสูจน์ความมันณบีแอคทีฟไบเทคบุรีถ่ายทอดสดความมันทุกวันอาทิตย์ตั้งแต่เวลา18นาฬิกาจนถึง20นาฬิกาทางช่อง8 YouTube และ Facebook ไทยไฟออฟฟิเชียลไทยไฟลี The Real Blood Arena. Search the new Blood Fighters with Card Cheer. Greatness, fruitless, and more exciting. Join us every Sunday at Beat Active by Tech b r e e Live from 6 to 8 p.m. on Channel 8 Thailand, YouTube, and Facebook Thai Fight Official. Thai Fight League, สนับสนุนโดย by. อีซูซูดีแม็กซ์เหนือลิมิตพิชิตโลกSee a less aggressive approach from Sayok. I don't want to sound like I've got a crystal ball over here. More of a measured approach. It's a one like way of saying it. But what it allows Nick to do is really get into his rhythm, start throwing the strikes that he wants to throw. Doesn't have to worry as much about just getting steamrolled by Sayo. You always have to worry. Nice left hand there from Sayo. You can see those bursts are coming fewer and farther between for Sayo. He spent a lot of energy in the first round, no doubt about it. He decided to chase Nick around the ring. Nice shot to the body there from Sayo. Nice right hand from Nick. Getting more confident as the fight wears on. Don't just spin. Right. And there comes Sayo. Oh! oh. oh. Timber! <laughs> Medic! Good time Nick has been down in the fight. Well, luckily, he was able to use his arms to break that fall and not land on his face. The refs called it. Eyes glazed over, and that'll be it. A thunderous way to end this evening of tremendous fights. Sayo. Congratulations to Sayo, Pumman, for a windy sport. 
What an incredible night of bikes here in Galsamui. ไทไฟลีสังเวียนเลือดของตัวจริงร่วมค้นหาเหล่านักสู้สายเลือดใหม่ประชิงความเป็นเลิศด้วยมวยค่าเชื่อกยิ่งใหญ่ดุดันเร้าใจร่วมพิสูจน์ความมันณบิ๊กแอคทีฟไบเทคบุรีถ่ายทอดสดความมันทุกวันอาทิตย์ตั้งแต่เวลา18นาฬิกาจนถึง20นาฬิกาทางช่อง8 YouTube และ Facebook ไทไฟออ f ฟิเชียลไทไฟลี The Real Blood Arena. Search the new Blood Fighters with c a r d Cheer. g r a y n e s s fruitless, and more exciting. Join us every Sunday at Beat Active by t e c h b u r i Live from 6 to 8 p.m. on Channel 8 Thailand, YouTube, and Facebook Thai Fight Official. Thai Fight League, สนับสนุนโดยรถขุดคูโบตา้ามืออาชีพเพื่องานก่อสร้างคู่นี้หลายๆคนรอจอมบูคนนี้อยู่รู้สึกว่าล่าสุดนะในวันที่31ธันวาคมที่ผ่านมานะครับนัดชิงชนะเลิศใช้เวลานะครับเพียงแค่1นาที22วินาทีในการสยบคนสู้แป๊บเดียวน็อกเอาเลยคนยังไม่ทันได้ดูเลยน็อกแล้วยังไม่ทันหายใจกันเลยนะฮะใช่ฮะแต่วันนี้เขากลับมานะฮะวันนี้เขากลับมาแต่ว่าเรามาเจอคู่ชกของเขาได้ดีกว่านะครับผมเมื่อกี้ผมมีโอกาสได้ไปสัมภาษณ์เขานะฮะผมถามเขาว่านักมวยคนเนี้ยสอกเขาหนักมากกลัวไหมเขาบอกสอกก็สอกเถอะวันนี้ไม่กลัวนะฮะวันนี้เรามาดูดีกว่านะฮะนักมวยที่มาจากประเทศนิวซีแลนด์นะฮะขอเสียงต้อนรับดอนิลคือดาเนียลเคอร์เมาริงจอมพิฆาตประเทศนิวซีแลนด Like one person, ah, muay nak pu, of us, ah, will be able to win the fight, ah, in the game, ah. So, ah, 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 สีอวตารไทยไฟเต้นหนึ่งสิทธิเจสายรุง้งมังกรปากน้ำโผประเทศไทยI'd be very interested to know what he actually weighed in at before this fight because he is certainly fighting a bigger man. That being said, 
Daniel Kerr is a big boy. We really saw him is. fight before as well, and he is a big, big man. And he is very durable. Well, Daniel Kerr fought Sayok at Thai Fight Countdown, and he was um, a bit of a late replacement, and he did a, did a great job against Sayok. Sayok won, but he went the distance. Yeah, Sayok couldn't finish him and actually looked tired by the end of that fight in trying to. I mean, you can just look, and these two men are not the same size. And that's just going to go even more to this sort of aura that Tang Nang is building. If he's able to finish this man, Oh, oh. spinning back kick there from Daniel Kerr connects to Tang Neng. Wow. Tang Neng starting very slowly here and he's a, in a higher weight division. Downward elbow there from Tang Neng. Wake up call maybe from the Thai fighter. I don't think he liked getting clipped with that kick early. Oh, and there's that body punch that he does so well. Oh, and a left hand from Tang Neng. Oh, man. Start to fight his way back into this fight. After that early worry. Another beautiful body punch. We have a bit of a scrap here in this first round. Two very dangerous fighters. Daniel Kerr, like I said, has fought Sayok. He's also fought John Wayne Parr as well. Very famous non-Thai, Muay Thai fighter. Yeah, he survived against both of those fighters. But he just poked the bear. He might not like the results. Take the fighter in a high weight category here. He might get pushed around by Daniel in the clinch. I don't know if Tang Neng's gonna let it get there. So vicious Setting from range. Setting up that left hand. Looking for that elbow. Oh, right elbow up up there from Daniel. This is where he wants to be. To the end of the clinch. Yeah, Tang Neng definitely trying to stay away from it. Already some swelling. Oh, oh and another beautiful Neng. left. Yes, Clint though. This is a very violent fight. Oh, man. This is more punishment than we've ever seen Tang Neng take, Aaron. Really is. But he's also hurting. He is hurting Kerr. Kerr is already, yeah, he's bleeding. The cut over the left high. They're going to take a look at it. It's oh, in a bad spot. Wide open, I can see it, and it's pouring blood. Let's see what the doctor has to say. You know, selfishly, I sort of want this fight to continue because it's been a great fight, but that looks, oh, that is. That's a really that bad, is a bad cut. bad cut. They're going to let it continue. They're going to let it go on. Tang Neng's going to probably move in for the kill here. Quite literally smelling blood. Oh, and a kick. beautiful kick to from Daniel Kerr. Going for that eye! Oh, and again! Left hand! And again! Two to three! Never did it! Left elbow! How Daniel. tough is Daniel Kerr? Daniel Kerr is survivable! Oh, and again by Tegnek! Tegnek walks again! Daniel Kerr stands up! I cannot believe the heart in this young man. Those left hands from Tegnek! Just remember the caliber of fighter that Daniel Kerr has fought against and has survived against. Sayo! Jane. John Wayne Parr, and now Tang Nang has got him bloody and beaten in the oh, first round. Daniel Kerr is in a bad way here. I cannot Tang believe he's still standing, Aaron. Oh, survival. Thai Fight League, Sang Vien Lueot Kong Tua Jing. ร่วมค้นหาเหล่านักสู้สายเลือดใหม่เพื่อชิงความเป็นเลิศด้วยมวยค่าเชือกยิ่งใหญ่ดุกันเร้าใจร่วมพิสูจน์ความมันณบิ๊กแอคทีฟไบเทคบุรีถ่ายทอดสดความมันทุกวันอาทิตย์ตั้งแต่เวลา18นาฬิกาจนถึง20นาฬิกาทางช่อง8 YouTube และ Facebook ไทยไฟออฟฟิเชียลไทยไฟลีกดูเรียลบลอดอารีนา Search the new blood fighters with car cheer. Greatness, fruitless, and more exciting. Join us every Sunday at Beat Active by Tech Marine. Live from 6 to 8 p.m. on Channel 8 Thailand, YouTube, and Facebook Thai Fight Official. Thai Fight League สนับสนุนโดย Pumpkin ครบทุกเรื่องเครื่องมือช่าง Proud of him. Unbelievable effort by the Maori, the New Zealander Daniel Kerr. And he's coming back! 
Oh, an elbow left to right! He just punched the Vaseline right off his face, Aaron. It was two elbows left to right. He went straight after Tengneng. Tengneng's looking a little bit wary himself. Yeah, he's squinting. He's got his eyes watering. He got hurt, left he's right. hurt Daniel there. Kurt. Daniel Kurtz is now biting down on the good shield. A left elbow again there from Tengneng. Like I said, Dan Daniel Kurtz has decided to bite down on that good shield and just run at Tengneng. And so far, he's doing well in the second round. Proving to be a good tactic. It's the first time oh, we've left. ever seen Tengneng hurt. Thai commentators have got their uh, sheets above their head, blocking the blood is flying here. Blood Vaseline all over ringside. It's raining Daniel Kerr at the moment. It's not a good night to be wearing a white shirt. I can already see blood on the white shirt of the Thai commentator. Yeah, Daniel Kerr, what heart. Incredible toughness. And Tang Neng looks a bit worn down. He's taking some punches. He really has. And from a bigger man, as we had mentioned. Really impressed with Daniel Kerr. Oh, oh. solid left to the body that hurt Daniel oh, Kerr. Oh, he's dying in there, Aaron. Delayed reaction. Tengneng is just a, a machine, Adam. I've never seen anyone with a left hand like it. Oh, wow. Guy. The refs called it. The refs called it. He's Daniel Kerr looks positively surprised and disappointed. The Thai commentators look relieved. <laughs> That's gonna be one of the most exciting ไฟไฟลี่สังเวียนเลือดของตัวจริงร่วมค้นหาเหล่านักสู้สายเลือดใหม่ไปชิงความเป็นเลิศด้วยมวยค่าเชือกยิ่งใหญ่ดุกดัน
Prater Italy. นี่มั่นใจสุดๆนะฮะใช่ครับลูก้าลอมบอร์เดอร์นะฮะก็บอกแล้วว่าคนนี้เขาก็ถือว่าเป็นยอดเมืองอิตาลีนะครับที่ทัวร์ทั่วโลกมาแล้วเหมือนกันนะครับตอนนี้มาอยู่ที่เมืองไทยแล้วก็ดึงมาต่อยไฮไฟซะหน่อยครับผมว่าสุดขนาดไหนครับอิตาลีนี่เป็นมวยดีฝีมือฉกาดทีเดียวนะครับประมาทไม่ได้เลยคนคนนี้นะครับที่จะขึ้นมาต่อกรด้วยนะครับเขาคือแชมป์มวยรอบอิสุสุและเป็นหนึ่งใน4เอาวตางไทไฟครับเอาละครับดังนั้นเงินรางวัลสำหรับนักชกชาวต่างชาติท่านน็อกได้นี่หนึ่งแสนบาทนะครับประกาศออกมาแล้วแต่เขาคนนี้ไม่เคยยอมขายง่ายๆน็อกเท่านั้นที่เขาต้องการปรบมือดังๆต้อนรับฉลามร้ายแห่งเมืองชนครับปตทพีเคแสชัยมวยไทยเยมวตารไทยไฟพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยยิมฉลามร้ายแห่งเมืองชนประเทศไทยจะเลิกคุยทั้งอ้ำพอเพื่อทางคนเดียวเนี่ยรู้ไหมจะไม่ยอมเล่นกับใครจะยกไปเธอไปทั้งใจจะมีเพียงเธอเท่านั้นจะเอาเธอแค่คนเดียวอย่าทำให้เสียวเราเลี้ยวลบได้ไหมยังโซดยังซิงอาจจะดูหนิงหนิงแต่ได้จริงผมอายเยาเคยเช็ดเป็นว่าเช็ดลายให้เธออธิบายผมจะได้ชัดเจนนะเศร้าเอ้The only fight that isn't a car check fight is the uh, the main event, Sanchai. In the meantime, we have PTT PK Sanchai Muay Thai Jim in the black corner, and in the white corner, Luca Lombardo. Actually, removing the monk on there, we can see. I believe it's the mayor of Nakonsi Tamarat who helps organize and put on. The uh, show here, so thank you to him for uh, having us here twice yeah, and twice in yeah. two years. We were just right. here last March, and of course now we're here again. And if you are a fan of Muay Thai and Thai fight, next month we'll be heading to Samui. Always our favorite Yay. event of <laughs> the year of the season. It's a difficult job, Adam. Yep, for once you're never going to hear me complain. Incredible. <laughs> All, All right. things are possible. Here we go, round one. Nice left jab there from Lombardo, but he's gonna 
Buck have to buckle up. He's going to be in for quite a ride here in round one. That's not my hat for PTT. Lombardo covering up. Oh. Outside die kick from PTT. Looking for that downward elbow. The kitty special. Oh my goodness. Lombardo's already cut over his right really? eye. And the blood is oh. streaming down. Oh, spin back elbow connects. He's decided to fight fire with fire. We'll see how that goes for him. Right hand connecting for Lombardo. PTT spinning him around. Both looking for those right hands. That's how PTT got knocked out a few months back. Yeah, he's content to just stand there in the pocket and exchange. And most of the time it works out in his favor. There's a nice high kick for Lombardo. Good covering up as well from the Sicilian. Keeping his hands nice and high. And a lot of the shots for PTT are throwing. He's connecting to the uh, arms. Scrappy. Uppercut attack there from PTT. Driving back Lombardo. Front up kick, look, did you see that in Muay Thai? Oh, and a left elbow right back to that cut, and a one-two. More elbows ringing in there from PTT. Lombardo is just wearing it, blood all over the face, and another left elbow comes in from PTT. And Lombardo's face is an absolute mess right now. Well, you know Italians love pizza, and he looks oh. like he's wearing one right now. It looks like he's headbutting one. Right elbow there from Lombardo. Left hook. Lombardo left comes back, kick. and he lands a high left, kick. Left punch. PTT's, PTT's in, in trouble. trouble. Oh my God. Right hand from Lombardo. Lombardo's gotten back in this fight. PTT holding on for dear life right now. And Lombardo knows it, and he pushes forward. Fruit spinning back fist. Hands coming in. PTT's backing up. Not sure PTT knows where he is right now, Adam. And Lombardo just wants to keep coming forward. He knows he's got him hurt, but PTT connects with the right hand. Right hook, but good covering again there from Lombardo. Spin and a miss, and he pays for it. The right to the face and the knee to the body. Corner of Lombardo screaming at him to throw more elbows. Left jab from Lombardo, and again, good way of keeping uh, PTT away. End of round one. What Woo! an incredible round. Thai Fight League, sáng viên lướt của tuổi trẻ. ร่วมค้นหาเหล่านักสู้สายเลือดใหม่เพื่อชิงความเป็นเลิศด้วยมวยค่าเชือกยิ่งใหญ่ดุดันเร้าใจร่วมพิสูจน์ความมันณบีแอคทีฟไบเทคบุรีถ่ายทอดสดความมันทุกวันอาทิตย์ตั้งแต่เวลา18นาฬิกาจนถึง20นาฬิกาทางช่อง8 YouTube และ Facebook ไทยไฟออ f ฟิเชียลไทยไฟลีกดูเรียลบลอดอารีนา Search the new blood fighters with hard cheer. Greatness, fruitless, and more exciting. Join us every Sunday at Beat Active by Tech Bree. Live from 6 to 8 p.m. on Channel 8 Thailand, YouTube, and Facebook Thai Fight Official. Thai Fight League Sanap Sanun Doi. Eon Auto Quick Cash. Tong Kan Ngan Sot. ทะเบียนรถช่วยได Followed by a swiping downward left elbow is what they were calling for. Good knee to the body there from, from sorry for PTT. We'll see if he's able to employ that nice knee to the body. But down goes Luca. It looked to me like he connected with a good knee to PTT's body, but Luca went down. He's getting up. He's up. PTT celebrating. It's not over yet. He's looking to spin again. 
completely misses the mark. Good body shots there. Oh, but PTO oh, back down to the body. right hand. He's going to get back to his feet again. God, I feel like I'm watching Rocky. Oh, push kick there. Rick is so careless for PTT. Oh, look at the right hand. He's scrubbing the beginning of the end now for Searching Luka. for that body shot. Upper punch from PTT and again down goes Lombardo. And that's all she wrote. And look at, look at Lombardo. He's like agreeing with the ref. He's like, yeah, you're right. I'm done, but I'm up. But he's like, he's still ready to go. Incredible toughness from that Italian fighter. Unbelievable. <laughs>
Ice Star Tom Man, the part of Rayong. Dai Pen's opponent here tonight. You see, of course, one of the main stars of High Fight. One of the, one of the fan favorites here. Absolutely, of course. Green's fan base in other promotions. But maybe you probably that previously. And then you hit the side right in around 2019. Yeah, and his star and his star has risen ever since. Yeah, he competed on uh, Super Champ before making his way to Type Fight, and ever since then he's just been on the roll. He hasn't lost one fight yet out of, I'm not sure how many, but most of his fights ended by knockout. He's a fight around 69, 70 kilograms. He's been moved up in weight ever since Type Fight. I've been particularly confident about his abilities and have been putting him against his fighters at 73, 74, 75 kilograms. Kilos above, let's put it that way, it's because nobody wanted to face him in 74 kilos. So years later, here we are at uh, Thai Fight. Kitty has grown a little bit, hasn't he? Yeah, amazing. And 74 meet, kilos. That's in the meeting right in the middle. That's right, and the matchmakers just told um, so Jai Pet, you can like, come right down. Sounds like Jai Pet was sort of the, uh, the Deng Nung of of Max Muay Thai, in a way. <laughs> oh, he, he was, he, he's incredible. Oh, well, they both were, and they both were tournament champions there as well. I've watched him, I've never seen him live, so this will be my first time to see Jai Pet live, and of course. This is gonna be incredible. You gotta wonder though, Jai Pet, he hasn't been getting a lot of matches lately. No, that's true. I think the last time I saw him fight was against uh, Thomas Carpenter in Hindua Hit on the Legends Fighting Championship. Wow. Oh, that was quite a while ago, a few months yeah, ago. Was, yeah, that's right. Thank you. <laughs> Kitty starting quick there, more aggressive than Jai Pet. I can see why you get mixed up between yeah. Kitty and uh, Tech Nung. They both have very similar styles. Oh, Beautiful right hand there from Jai Pet. And for those that don't know about Jai Pet, you've got to watch out for his low kicks and his hands. I was about to say, his legs are huge. Yeah, it's good. Face. Three chunks for legs. Indeed. Jai Pen, he loves to start off by slowing his opponents down by attacking their legs. Wonder if you're gonna see here see that here tonight. Yeah, there was a warning shot all there from Kitty as he leapt in with that right hand. Another elbow coming in there from Jai Pen. You know, another thing is that I don't believe I've ever seen any of these uh, fighters knocked down before. This could be the first. <laughs> I think a war is brewing right now, boys and girls. Stay with this one. Swing the miss there from Jai Pen. Body shot with a right hand from Jai Pet. Huge right hand by Jai Pet. I don't think Kitty has ever been hit that hard in his life. Yeah, worrying look there from Kitty. Beautiful block there from Jai Pet as well. Usually a lot of smiles on the face of Kitty as he fights. Let's not forget, Jai Pet is used to fighting people at 80 kilos. True. Another midsection kick there attempt by Kitty. Swing and a miss there from Kitty. You know, I talked to uh, years ago before he was on tight fight. I talked to Jai Pet. Oh, another right elbow there, coming in in the inside from Jai Pet. Swinging right hand from he, Kitty that connects. Huge. I talked to Jai Pet's trainers and asked him, do you think he can beat Teng Nung? He said, he can knock him out. Wow. And he might just do that against Kitty. He's gonna have a Kitty. Looks like he's changed the title a little bit now. Kitty, happy to be on the back foot. He's searching for that right hand and Jai Pet just scouting it, looking for that left hook that time. How do you score this fight? My goodness. Something else worth noting as well was Jai Pet was looking for car kicks. Nice right kick to the body there by Jai Pet. Beautiful kick there, but caught by Jai Pet. That is exactly where Gitti does not want to be. Another elbow to end the round. What a great first. ไทไฟลีสังเวียนเลือดของตัวจริงร่วมค้นหาเหล่านักสู้สายเลือดใหม่ไปชิงความเป็นเลิศด,ด้วยมวยค่าเชือกยิ่งใหญ่ดุจันเร้าใจร่วมพิสูจน์ความมันณบีแอคทีฟไบเทคบุรีถ่ายทอดสดความมันทุกวันอาทิตย์ตั้งแต่เวลา18นาฬิกาจนถึง20นาฬิกาทางช่อง8 YouTube และ Facebook ไทไฟล์ออฟฟิเชียลไทไฟลี The Real Blood Arena. Search the new Blood Fighters with Kachir.
greatness, fruitless, and more exciting. Join us every Sunday at Beat Active by Tech Marie. Live from 6 to 8 p.m. on Channel 8 Thailand, YouTube, and Facebook Thai Fight Official. Thai Fight League สนับสนุนโดย by Isuzu D Max เหนือลิมิตพิชิตโลกไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไป
it at random and on audiences can find the winner on Facebook announcement or on the TIE Fight line official. Third and final round, here we go. Both fighters starting very fast. Could Exchanging be a, kicks. Could be a case of win the round, win the fight here. TIE Fight looking for those knees. Kitty going in with good knees there. Be very aggressive. Cuts. Jai Petch with a good left hand. Jai Petch looking for left elbows. Left high kick there, coming in from Jai Petch. Right hand there, connects. I think it's fair to say that the tide has turned. It's it really all Kitty from now on. It is. Kitty doing a great job in the second round. He's now leading the dance in the third. Jai Petch has definitely slowed down a bit. He doesn't like those knees that are coming in from Kitty. Low kick there from Jai Pech, just on the left outside thigh of Kitty. Another elbow attempt there from Jai Pech, who's looking a little bit tired right now. There's blood pouring from a big is Kitty's. Just above Kitty's left eye, potentially. To keep an eye on that. There is poor, oh, it could be from the head of Kitty on the ear. Even the ear, yeah. One of the elbows that connected. Spinning back elbow attempt there from Kitty. If Jai Pech wasn't tired, I think he'd take advantage of that. <laughs> Yeah, he's looking exhausted into it right now. Remember, just one day notice. Good up cuts there from Kitty in the clinch. Jai Pech eating a lot of left hand, left and right hand. Oh, good right hand there from Jai Pech. Jai Pech now fighting on the back foot. He didn't do that in the first and second round. Yeah, he's slowed down a lot right now. Left hook there coming in from Jai Pech. Kitty trying to stop this fight. The referee taking a big, long look right now. I think he realizes that Jai Pech is absolutely exhausted. He's not even attacking anymore. It's just a, about staying alive right now for Jai Pet. And Kitty doing the right thing by attacking with those knees, making his opponent even more tired, just like that. Uppercut attempt there from Kitty, but missing. Jai Pet, mouth open. Taking deep breaths and moving back. It's not a great sign here. No, it's not. No, Jai Pet's not even attacking anymore. Only trying to counter. Maybe not be the best game plan. The referee's going to take a look, look at this. He's not really defending himself right now. Kitty moving in with elbows. He's holding on for dear life. He's trying to get to the end of the round. No more power coming in from Jai Pet whatsoever. The energy's been sapped from his body. And there it is, the end of the third and final round. We will go to the judges for a decision. Who do you have it at home? Do you think Kitty took it? Or do you think Shocky's on the cards and Chai Petch will take this one? Thai Fight League, สังเวียนเลือดของตัวจริงร่วมค้นหาเหล่านักสู้สายเลือดใหม่เพื่อชิงความเป็นเลิศด้วยมวยค่าเชือกยิ่งใหญ่ดุดันเร้าใจร่วมพิสูจน์ความมันณบิ๊กแอคทีฟไบเทคบุรีถ่ายทอดสดความมันทุกวันอาทิตย์ตั้งแต่เวลา18นาฬิกาจนถึง20นาฬิกาทางช่อง8 YouTube และ Facebook Thai Fight Official Thai Fight League The Real Blood Arena. Search the new Blood Fighters with Card Cheer. Greatness, fruitless, and more exciting. Join us every Sunday at Beat Active by Tech Bree. Live from 6 to 8 p.m. on Channel 8 Thailand, YouTube, and Facebook Thai Fight Official. Thai Fight League Sun Up Sun Doi. Eon Auto Quick Cash ต้องการเงินสดทะเบียนรถช่วยได้
คู่ต่อไปนี้จะชกกันที่พิกัดน้ำหนัก66กิโลกรัมครับ Fighting at 66 k g weight class from the white corner. He has been in Thai fight once, and now he is good enough to come back again. He is WBC Australian champion and WKN Australian champion. Call Siang Prop Mu Ton Rap from Australia, Chad Collins. ชาร์ตคอลินส์ฉลามพิฆาตประเทศออสเตรเลียมาประลองเชิงมวยกับเขานะครับขอให้ทุกท่านนำสองมือของท่านจับที่ตาไว้และทางตาไว้ครับยังไงฮะกระพริบตาครับอย่างนั้นเลยฮะเพราะนี่คือตำนานมวยของคนไทยครับนี่คือคนที่ต่อยมวยแล้วแบบถ้าพูดตามภาษาผมโคตรเก่งโอ้โหเอาอย่างนั้นเลยตัวเล็กๆแต่ยิ่งใหญ่มากโอ้โหแล้วก็รู้สึกว่าไม่ใช่แค่ในประเทศไทยนะผมไปไทยไฟท์ทูเดอะเวิลด์นะครับไปหลากหลายประเทศมาครับแฟนคลับนะฮะฝอสายฝรั่งเนี่ยนะครับกรีดการ์ดตามตั้งแต่ประตูจนถึงเวทีจริงอะคนนี้คือโคตรมวยแห่งสยามประเทศครับ he is really well known in our world a living legend in the world of muay thai fighter ขอเสียงต้อนรับโคตรมวยแห่งสยามแสนชัยพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยเยี่ยมไปไปไปเดินหน้าประกาศสตาร์ด้วยแม่ไม้มวยไทยไปไปไปไม่สนว่าหน้าไหนไม่สนว่าชาติใดชัยพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยยินโคตรมวยแห่งสยามประเทศไทยเตียงพาพาเตียงพาเตียงพาเตียงเตียงเตียงเตียงเตียงทางเตียงนาน้อยก้นค่อยไงงงมองพี่ฮาให้นั่งบอลเราเขาขอบัตรยาที่ชายของเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเ
So he is prepared to fight. He's ready. And he didn't take the fight in China because they said you want to fight Sanjay. And he said, absolutely. You can see the bell rings. Round one begins. Inside fight kick there from Chad. Sanjay shuffled straight away. He knows how to get the crowd involved for sure. Maybe pulling fainting, out the cartwheel. Fainting the Sanjay kick, the cartwheel kick. It's really become a oh, question mark. Question mark straight away. And already asking question marks of the body of Chad. Pulling out all his signature moves. And just watch the way he dances around the ring. And watch the strange angles, like I said, that he comes from. He just has angles that other fighters don't have. He moves. Like I've never seen a fantastic there. Jeff pressing him, trying to stay aggressive, which is what you have to do. I mean, even though he's a vicious counter striker, you can't just let him do whatever he wants in there. You see how that ends. He's also a very good counter striker. He's good at everything. Oh, spinning back elbow attack there, and then a right elbow coming in from Chad. Told you, Adam. Chad undeterred by anyone he fights. Combination there from Sanchai, Chad nice again. Yeah, going Chad. after that inside leg. He initially missed the elbow, did Chad, but then he span round and connected with the elbow. Sanchai acknowledged it. That Sanchai kick, that carpet kick, has been adopted all over the world, really. You know, it's kind of crazy, Ty Fight is showing off again. Ty Fight's really yeah. become an international phenomenon with fighters and events in multiple countries. And, you know, it's, I gotta say, it's really exciting as a lifelong fan of combat sports to see Muay Thai getting global exposure. And a lot of it's because of this guy right here, Sanchai. I really appreciate it. Really enjoying the way Chad is going after the uh, right leg of Sanchai. And yeah, that inside leg kick, I really think, is bothering him. Nice elbow from Sanchai. Look at that, look at that move, look at the evasive move from Sanchai. Again, Chad looking to spin there, every opportunity. Left body shot there from Sanchai. Another sweet. Crafty veteran move right there from Sanchai. He'll be looking to set up that left hand. Elbow coming in there from Chad, but Sanchai blocks it that time. That left hand of Sanchai is like night quills, but plenty of people to sleep. Big Gritty's having a blast in there. Not every day you get asked to fight you know, one of the best Muay Thai fighters that have ever done it. That's the main reason he's in there, Adam. Good right hand again there from Sanchai to the body of Chad. Follows it up with that left kick and another right hand. Beautiful left to the body there, Sanchai snuck in. Take out his own there from Chad. After Sanchai. ไทยไฟลีสังเวียนเลือดของตัวจริงร่วมค้นหาเหล่านักสู้สายเลือดใหม่มาชิงความเป็นเลิศด,ด้วยมวยค่าเชือกยิ่งใหญ่ดุกันเร้าใจร่วมพิสูจน์ความมันณบิ๊กแอคทีฟไบเทคบุรีถ่ายทอดสดความมันทุกวันอาทิตย์ตั้งแต่เวลา18นาฬิกาจนถึง20นาฬิกาทางช่อง8 YouTube และ Facebook ไทยไฟออฟฟิเชียลไทยไฟลีเรียลบลอดอารีนาเซิร์ชเดอะนิวบลอดไฟเดอร์สวิดคอร์เชียร์เกรนิสฟรุตเลสและมอยส์ไซด์จอยน์เอสเอเวอร์ซันเดย์แอดบีทแอคทีฟไบเทคบุรีไลฟ์ประสิทธิ์ถึง8ปีเอ็มออนช่องทางไทยแลนด์ยูทูบและเฟซบุ๊กไทยไฟออฟฟิเชียลไทยไฟลีกสนับสนุนโดยบายอีสุสุดีแม็กซ์เหนือลิมิตพิชิตโลกเรียกได้ว่าเป็นวิธีการที่ดีที่สุดคิกเข้าไปแล้วแต่ว่าเขาจะต้องการที่จะเล่นต่อไปแล้วเขาจะต้องการที่จะเล่นต่อไปแล้วเขาจะต้องการที่จะเล่นต่อไปแล้วเข
Great job as well. I'm sure, there's a lot of people back home in Australia cheering him on. He's doing them proud so far. Yeah, it was a good left kick to the body there from Sanchai, but immediately followed up again by that nice technique from Chad, that inside leg kick. Forward pressure by Chad. He catches him there again with a left hook. Just keeps peppering that lead leg. Sanchai showed him a lot of respect out of. Yeah, you can tell if Sanchai stops smiling, you know you've gotten his attention. We made the point earlier, Adam, about Chad being ready for this fight, how he's trained for weeks on end. He looks it. See, the cardio, the pressure, he's maintaining it. And I don't know if anyone really expected Chad to come in and win this fight, but there's a weird thing when you fight Sanchai where if you can just go three rounds with him and hold your own. That's almost a victory in itself. Well, right now, Chad's doing more than that, Adam. This is a very even round here in the second. I think Chad's winning this round. It's really loose and comfortable in there. And there's the kiss from Sanjay. Now Chad kissing Sanchai as well with his gloves and with his legs. Sanchai getting a real workout here tonight. Yeah, he's breathing. He's breathing through his mouth here in round two. Good body shot left from Chad. All the fighters exchanging knees to clinch. Chad just so active. That 21-year-old cardio. Could him try to push the rough out of race so he can get straight to Sanchai. Sanchai is a legend, don't get me wrong, but 36 versus 21, the cardio difference is real. Sanchai holding on. Chad almost looked like he was looking for a spinning back elbow to the head there. The right knee there from Chad. Another question my kick. But again, Chad just takes it, that's his third. Yeah, it's landing, but he's walking right through it. Very good round there from Chad Paul. It's very impressive. ไทไฟลีสังเวียนเลือดของตัวจริงร่วมค้นหาเหล่านักสู้สายเลือดใหม่และชิงความเป็นเลิศด้วยมวยค่าเชือกยิ่งใหญ่ดุจันเร้าใจร่วมพิสูจน์ความมันณบีแอคทีฟไบเทคบุรีถ่ายทอดสดความมันทุกวันอาทิตย์ตั้งแต่เวลา18นาฬิกาจนถึง20นาฬิกาทางช่อง8 YouTube และ Facebook ไทไฟล์ออฟฟิเชียลไทไฟลี The Real Blood Arena. Search the New Blood Fighters with Card Chew. Greatness, fruitless, and more exciting. Join us every Sunday at Beat Active by Tech Marie. Live from 6 to 8 p.m. on Channel 8 Thailand, YouTube, and Facebook Thai Fight Official. Thai Fight League, สนับสนุนโดย Beat Active. Indoor Sports Entertainment ครบวงจรที่ไบเทคติดรถไฟฟ้าบางนาYeah, Those are the two biggest things for me, the cardio and the pressure from Chad and that beautiful inside leg kick. The kick to the body there from Sanchai, but Chad again. Looking to take him out with those hands. Sanchai drops him. He's dropping him and laying on top of him, trying to sap some of that energy that Chad's been using so effectively. Sanchai again looking to take him down. First knockdown, that time. first knockdown of the fight, but it was just the ref. There's that uppercut attempt there from Chad. Yeah, he really surprised him with that, with 
that punch coming in from a different angle in the second round. Nice job there from Sunshine. Question mark kick again, but Chop just walks through it. Hits him with another inside leg kick. He's really peppered that lead leg, and you can see Sunshine now trying to avoid it. It's clearly been bothering him in this fight. It's the first time I've seen a fighter use that technique against Sanchai. Cartwheel comes in to the body. Obligatory cartwheel kick. Half a cartwheel. That might very well be because that, that lead leg of his has been peppered. This is where the experience now plays its part for Sanchai. He's throwing just a few jabs, throwing a few kicks, moving away, and then grabbing Chad. Aaron, he looks tired to me, Sanchai does. I don't know if I've seen that before. And it's really, you got to give the credit to Chad for just being super aggressive and not giving Sanchai any space to breathe. Beautiful left kick to the body there from Sanchai. A nice knee. Again, Sanchai takes him down. Chad! Rabbi! Trying to get back at him. Nice right punches. hook to the body. Just unbelievable pressure. I must have used that word about 500 times in this fight, but it's... His cornerman was telling him to go right at him, and right at him he does. We could be on the verge of a historic upset here, Aaron. Good left kick there from Sunshine. We could be watching history. We mentioned Sunshine hasn't lost in three years, 29 consecutive victories. The stronger shots are now coming in well from Sunshine. Chad keeps walking into them. There's that kick again, it connects. Chad just he keeps going, but Sanchai grabs a hold of him. Really frustrating Chad in this round. Sanchai has had a workout like this since probably his last loss in 2014. End of the third and final round. Unbelievable fight that we've just witnessed here. It's not often you get to see Sanchai actually tested. And I really think... Sanchai, Dario escapes defeat in my opinion. Three in a row. Well, let's take nothing away from it. Chad Collins, you yeah, absolute stud. 30 straight wins for Sanchai, but I have a feeling that 30th one was the toughest. ครับผมพบกันใหม่โอกาสหน้านะครับรับรองนะครับไทยไฟเราจะไปจัดความสุขแบบนี้ให้กับท่านแน่นอนครับวันนี้ลาไปก่อนพบกันใหม่โอกา
YouTube and Facebook Thai Fight Official.